These are my top 10 messiest videos and I'm gonna show you how I made them and why they got completely out of control. All right, let's make another waffle. Batter up. There you go. Ready? Gosh, this video was so messy and gross because I'm reaching into real pancake batter. The way the bat magically comes out of the batter right there is really neat. We had cut a hole in the table and below that was a trap door where I could grab the bat. And we had this really cool mechanism stopping the batter from leaking back out into underneath the counter. We should have known that this was gonna be the most messy concept ever because when the kid swung the bat, the batter goes all over the room and on the camera. It was just, it was a mess to clean up. Can we get a clean up on aisle five? And if you thought things couldn't get even messier, you're wrong. That bear's cute. So I got to shoot this video with Bailey Madison. She's so sweet. And this is where she accidentally lifts me up in one of those arcade crane machines and then drops me into a ball pit. <laughs> But to pull this off, we built the set in the studio to look like an arcade because we needed to rig the stunt lines into the beams overhead. And we wanted the balls to spill out everywhere when I fall into this ball pit. And so we rigged that front of that door to open up and spill perfectly when I am on impact. And of course, it was always a big cleanup after each take. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sorry. My team is notorious for pulling pranks and they pulled a great prank on me that day. So come to the front right here. It's super cool because from like the perspective of no! it. <laughs> and I decided today is the day I'm gonna get him back. So I'm gonna go prank my art team. That'll be at the end of this video. Oh, okay, this is gonna be easy. Sorry, buddy. Oh. To pull off this trick, we had a real pool table converted into a pool by adding a bathtub below it. And with this kind of trick, it's always a long reset time because in this case, it's an hour to redo it every time. And after that first take, we realized that the water started to head towards our 3D printer section of the studio. So we quickly ran over and stopped it with the towels. So all things considering, the shoot was going really well until I accidentally did this. Oh. This isn't the waterproof eight. It's an expensive mistake. Actually, that was like the most expensive part of the video. But compared to this next one, that's not even that bad. I'm a big fan of Legos. You can call me an AFOL. And we did a giveaway for some fans and they were allowed to raid the store and whatever they could carry, they could keep. But the twist was that there's Legos covered all over the floor. Literally this entire store was covered in Legos like six inches deep. But something we didn't realize was how slippery the Legos were. Hey, oh, get back here. Oh. I felt terrible. So we're never doing that again. Speaking of Legos, uh, they're terrible to step on. We made a video about that with my kids where I step on a Lego brick and then that turns me into a Lego structure and they knock me over, breaking me into a million pieces. And to pull this off, I thought it was pretty fun because we end up scanning my body in 3D and we transition that later in the computer where I turn into a model of bricks that combusts on the floor. I mean, they were everywhere, underneath the carpet, on the shelves, some even ended up in the fireplace. And the sound design was fun for this one too. We, again, threw more Legos on the floor. Who doesn't love doing that? All right, so this is a jump cut. Oh. You might know what a jump cut is already, but if you don't, I press the balloon against my chest, I change, and then in the computer, you remove that middle section. And ta-da, it looks like you've done magic. This is how you Christmas fly a room. Gijon, heads up. Oh, no, 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 no. Thing. Now, this video you're watching looks like it probably was a jump cut, but it actually was two unique sets that were duplicates, one that was the before and one that was the after covered in snow. And to move between those without a jump cut, I get on a dolly that has a set and it moves over to that second door where I'm able to open it up and walk in the snow. And the thing I didn't realize is how slippery that fake snow was. Snow wonder is the slipperiest stuff in the world. Let's go back to green. Do you know how many rubber bands it takes to explode a watermelon? Comment the answer down below and I'll pin the closest answer. 221, 1,220. Sorry about that glitch. Let me try to fix that. Okay. You got it yet? No. Oh, here's the problem. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no,
For this video, I had to get watermelon juice thrown in my face at a very fast speed, and we mixed it with cornstarch to make it look thicker, like the thick watermelon juice, and things got worse because we had to do two takes. And when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it could. We have a room that can rotate 360 degrees and it allows us to pull off these amazing angles where it looks like the person's defying gravity. We're doing it with this trick where it's supposed to look like I'm pouring acrylic paint at the audience towards the camera, but I'm actually upside down because I'm in the rotating room and the paint goes towards me. The problem of this one is we can only shoot it once because one, the paint tastes terrible, but it actually stained me. So we only had one take. Once we realized I was wiping it off, I'm stained blue like an avatar. So this is what I would look like if I was in the movie. James Cameron, I would love to be in the movie. So I got to do a concept with iJustine where we're doing the classic soda and mento reaction explosion. But in this, the soda turns out to be really large because of the perspective trick. Look out! Oh my gosh! Let's get out of here! No! What? <laughs> Stop oh it! My so you've probably seen a lot of YouTubers use this elephant toothpaste, which is basically a chemical reaction that creates foam. Honestly, I should have Mark Rober explain it better. The main ingredient for elephant's toothpaste is hydrogen peroxide. If you add a catalyst like potassium iodide, you can make that happen almost instantly. So that's cool, but we can make it way more impressive if we add one key ingredient, soap. Oh! <laughs> and you have to be super careful because this stuff can get really hot. So when you see us running here, we're literally like running for our lives. But if you thought that one was bad, take a look at this. Mm, can I get some more gravy? Yep, coming up. Remember this one strange year where we had to have Thanksgiving over Zoom? Well, that's the concept that we wanted to do. And unfortunately for my friend Jace, he had to get covered in real Thanksgiving gravy for this. I'm sure it smelled amazing, but he was a trooper and <laughs> he did it so many times it just felt so bad for him. Way to go, Jace. Everyone give Jace some love in the comments. <laughs> So I've been covered in paint for a lot of my videos over the years, but this one might top them all. I had to put paint all over my body, in my eyes, my legs, my arms, everywhere. And I had to direct my kids while being completely covered in this paint, so I don't think they were taking me seriously. And to make things worse, my wife came over to laugh at me and hose me off. She wasn't really laughing at me, she was just, uh, but no, she was. And when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it could. So I've always wondered, what if a museum janitor accidentally spilled something on a priceless painting? For this one, we used real tomato soup, and I'm so glad you can't smell my videos because this one was awful. The real stench of the tomato soup everywhere on set was just nasty. And for some reason, we didn't have a can opener on set. We should have thought that one through. One of the takes, uh, our producer fell through the set, but luckily he was, he was okay. He did get soup all over the floor, and we had to hose him off, and it was just, the smell was bad. Now I did promise we'd prank my art team to get back at them for what they did earlier, so uh, let's go do that. Also, don't forget to watch this video. <laughs> oh, I feel really bad. Dang it, I knew this too. Wow! <laughs> oh, were you about to punch me? I'd wish I'd punch them. You're not gonna unsubscribe, are you? I gotta subscribe first.